Hello everybody, this is Michelle for UKMobileReview.com and today I'm here with the LG G Flex and I'm going to show you the deep feature, uh, going deep inside it. Well, first let's check, take a look on the uh, appearance. We've got a 6 inch screen, and, uh, 720p 6 inch screen in the front, front camera, sensors, speaker, LG logo on the bottom, on the left hand side we've got the SIM card tray, right hand side we've got nothing, you see the nice curved shape, on the back we've got the speaker, infrared for quick remote, LED flash, 13 megapixel camera, volume control and lock button. On the top we've got the second microphone for active noise cancellation and on the bottom the main microphone, micro USB port and 3.5mm headphone jack. Uh, the device is pretty big. We've got uh, 161mm top to bottom, 82 left to right and 9mm thick at the thickest point it weighs in at about uh, 177 grams but it doesn't feel quite that big when you uh, when you're holding it to make an example let me just uh, grab a device for comparison We've got the Sony Xperia Z right here you see, the difference is not that much. If I would put the Moto X next to it, it would look ridiculous. But with the Sony Xperia Z, it doesn't look that ridiculous. So let's put it aside again. Well, what else about the technical specifications? If it's powered by an Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 quad-core CPU with 2.3 GHz, 2 GB of RAM, 32 uh, GB of internal storage, which about 24 can be used, the rest is uh, operating system, everything. Uh, stunning 3500 mAh accu, uh, battery, which lasts one and a half days on heavy usage with uh, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, three email accounts and so on. Or little phone calls, Viber, whatever. For connectivity we've got the UMTS, HS, HSTPA and everything up to LTE 4G. Uh, the Wi-Fi connectivity is 802.11 with A, B, G and N so basically you can connect to everything Bluetooth 4.0 yeah about it on the connectivity we've got the, the about the camera I'll be talking about it later got quite some features and quite quality and let's take a look at the software right to unlock the device, you check uh, either use the bottom uh, the button on the back, or you simply double tap the screen. Oh. There you go, and swipe to swipe on the screen, and you're done. Or double tap to relock it, double tap to unlock it, or just use uh, one of those five fully customizable quick launching apps. You can uh, edit another app here, another widget, or the camera is right when you swipe right uh, from right to left, you instantly launch the camera. Like we already know from other uh, devices, it's an Android feature. So now we're in the typical home screen, endless scrolling. Some devices don't have that, but here we go. 
pinch to zoom to edit home screens or add new screens pinch to zoom again, we are back the typical features apps, widgets change the background live backgrounds, your gallery, pictures and uh, pull down bar at the top with the quick applications Q slide is something pretty important can uh, have yeah, yeah. quick uh, small widget like apps you can uh, position anywhere and use in voice made now it's down here wherever I go hmm. what else? You've, we've got quite the am amount of nice features on this device for instance for easier one-handed use you can reposition the on-screen buttons on the bottom as you can see here I've got them now aligned to the right center or aligned to the left, uh, now it doesn't work as well as I wanted to. No, 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 we got it. Then to the left, got the typical Android buttons back home menu. Press the home button longer, you get the uh, recent apps or task manager. Stop it. And the fourth button is something LG specific. It's called Quick Memo, and when you use it, you can instantly write anywhere on the screen or draw or whatever. Save it as a, a picture, instantly share it. It's great for when you want to show somebody something. Just uh, don't have to take a screenshot, edit it, uh, zoom out. Um, just like uh, let's. Eh, when somebody asks you how do I do something on Twitter just uh, 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 where do I find my notifications you just hit the quick memo I'll erase what I've done previously and he wants to know where I can find the notifications you just draw A circle and an arrow or something like this. Yeah, it's not perfect, I know, but it does the trick. Or you can just simply, oh, wait, I need your number, let me just type it down, write it down. Yeah, yeah, you get the point, I think. It's a great feature, I've been using it quite a lot since I have this device. Or for if you want to show somebody something and there's a name you don't want everyone to see just a, uh, yeah yeah I got it just uh, you're sorry Heidi just do it like this you got the uh, everything nice and censored the other f you can switch the type of pen you're using the card can change colors it's a it's a great feature I really enjoy it let's, uh, let's align them, them on the right again I'm right handed got other features on this device for instance the quick translator I don't have it installed at this point yet. why does this need to install Oh, let's just uh, do this real quick. Forgot uh, I erased it. In the meantime, I can explain what the Quick Translator does. As the name suggests, it's a uh, software to translate, but not by typing in the word or saying the word. Yeah, I've got English German dictionary now. It's camera based. So, I need something with an English word on it. What about this DHL box? No, it don't work. 
Let me see. Damn it. Don't have anything around here. That could work. And what about this? We've got the word made here. And you see. just um, instantly oh it that has the wrong cool yeah it's German why does it say Spanish English yeah yeah whatever and it got either the this version or I could just say Video. video and it's even saying the word so let's try something a little more different uh, headphones it works quite well I enjoy it calendar app quick remote you can uh, bottom buttons on the bottom to talk about them again it's, it's settings real quick you can easily change them by going to display front touch buttons so you got the phone in German sorry button combination I have uh, a variety on the usual design inverted design with the uh, a button to quickly access the pull down menu in both directions and with the quick memo that I have activated right now and also change the color if you want it to match the apps or have it in a different style I prefer the plain black one looks nice you can even say when some apps are launched you don't want the buttons and you've got the usual Android uh, settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, sound you can use different lock screen build, um, different animation daydream mode intelligent screen which detects if you're looking at it and doesn't shut up, uh, shut down when you're on your home screen a theme of the device which uh, effect you want when swiping between the screens which effect you want at the home screen all those little things you can change well, to make the phone look unique and exactly the way you want it. For people who enjoy multitasking, just press the back button for a longer time. Unfortunately, you can't use your own apps for this, which I think is a down point. But it works with those, so if you're writing an email, and in the meantime check something on Google, you can just uh, have both opened at the same time. Also works in landscape which is pretty nice. You can just here uh, write an email while looking for something or just uh, watch a YouTube video while writing an email text gallery being in a hangout while checking your emails you could basically do any any of those tasks here simultaneously which I think is pretty nice but it uh, would be nice if you could uh, use own applications for it too so I, basically I could be in WhatsApp and WordPress simultaneously this would be nice app draw the usual again with the unlimited scrolling
for me the device uh, really really made a difference uh, in how I use the mobile phone and I came to realize sometimes big is better mm. for an example on the battery I've been using it off the charger for about four hours now and we've lost one percent so just so you know well, ah, I wanted to talk about the camera right so we've got the 13 megapixel camera take the box as a we've got the regular camera mode you can switch to video which comes in UHD or FHD with 60 FPS so you can make quite the uh, amazing videos with this one got the usual effects geotagging large there is volume audio zoom the usual as you can see here it's a picture the picture isn't so good on the device because it's only a 720p resolution but I'll do some test videos and pictures to upload alongside with the post maybe there will be an uh, exceptional post only to show off the camera features because they are quite much I just uh, touch bases, basics now and we'll do an entire video only focusing about the camera or other functions this device Yes, yeah, you can. Oh, sorry. Was this it's a little stupid to use the buttons on the back to make pictures? In the settings, you've got focus, picture size, 13, 10 megapixels, timer, usual camera features, which sound it should make, and what I really like for especially for taking pictures from yourself with the, uh, the back camera you can have voice activation so basically what, what voice activation does is when I oh no I must have said something when I say one of the keywords like LG it takes a picture or smile you know, it's a really nice feature. It's got different modes. Mode, regular, can erase people from it. Panorama, virtual reality panorama, burst shot, time catch shot, dual camera, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so basically now you see me, my camera and the picture we're gonna take and yeah let me just get off the screen real quick and yeah uh, I will be doing a series on all those features in the next uh, I will be talking about all those features in the next video because it's way too long to explain everything just in this one there will be a few other things I will be talking about in the other video too Next thing else I can show you, yeah, the keyboard, regular LG keyboard with the swipe stuff. It's really great, it, so it works nice. Got the Google Now, you can just uh, long no to activate Google Now, just swipe from the home button. You can either activate Quick Memo or Google. But this is an Android stock feature, except for the uh, quick memo, which is LG specific. So basically that's what uh, I can tell you about the LG G Flex. The videos about the specialties of the device will be up shortly. And my resume about this phone, I love it. It's big, but not too big, doesn't feel very big. It just uh, 
nice to use. You can, uh, especially for in the, when reading the paper in the morning uh, on the train or something. I've been doing it a, this a lot lately. Uh, or watch a video. Just basically, it's really great to have a screen like this. And the curved style really really great when you're uh, on the phone, but uh, it does feel kind of weird having this big phone. So, they, what I always say uh, when someone asks me about devices, just uh, go to your local electronics dealer and check it out for yourself. I would recommend this phone to anyone who wants a big device and uh, a lot of nice nifty features it doesn't really need a full HD screen this is one of the down points I have about this phone because if I would produce a 6 inch phone I would definitely put in a full HD screen instead of just a 720p especially when the camera is above HD quality so just as my, just my a piece of my mind so I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos we've got and I hope you see you in the next one. Bye!